part of the American dream. So now there's a new report showing Minneapolis comes in at number seven as the most popular metros for Gen Z homebuyers. If you had to guess the number one spot for Gen Z homebuyers, we're talking people aged 18 to 25, what would you say it is? Somewhere along the coast. Along the coast? Yeah, I would have not guessed what the answer is. Salt Lake City. Yeah. Salt Lake mm -hmm. City. I've heard really good things about Salt I Lake too. City. Mm -hmm. I did just just didn't expect Pretty affordable. That. Out there. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. and that's the thing, Riley. It's like you look at what this survey is actually looking at. They're mm -hmm. not saying that there's a ton of Gen Zers that are buying homes, no, right? Yeah, because that Gen Z is is the, is the very young mm -hmm. group, yeah. right? It's up to age 25 or yep. so. So they're only about 15 percent of the potential home buyers out there. But these are places that skew younger yeah. buyers. So what is Salt Lake City? Was it like 24% of the buyers? 24% of 24? the buyers, okay. yeah. So it was Salt Lake City, and then it was Oklahoma City, Birmingham, Indianapolis, and Cincinnati in the top okay. five. Okay. And so, then Minneapolis yeah. coming in at number seven okay. on that right. list. Interesting. I mean, it really is. Um, to buy a home at that age, though, to me, Yes. So, I mean, I, I mean, was, that's the issue, right? I was still sleeping on an air mattress that deflated. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I'm trying to think of yeah, where where I was in my life. You know, like yeah. Definitely I mean, I didn't wasn't 30. I was. I didn't. We don't buy. I didn't buy my first home until I was 35. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, mm -hmm. the average. So for this, for this, uh, for this, uh, this study, the average home buyer, Gen Z home buyer, for all of these, it was 22. It was 22 that's down the board. Wow. Same in Minneapolis. Yeah. The yeah. average home buyer credit score in Minneapolis. 691. Okay. Um, a good score. Yeah. Down payment, you think about a down payment because homes are expensive. The down payment was $27,000. And mm -hmm. then the average amount of loan requested, $249,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which to me did feel low, but then I'm thinking, well, it's a starter home for a lot of people. Yeah. Right. So that would that'd probably be about right. Right. Yeah. I mean, but you look at right now, the average price of a starter home is far yeah. more than 249. Yeah. No so kidding. they have to be it's putting six. something down. It's up in the threes yeah. uh, there, at least in the, in the Twin Cities. But mm -hmm. You know, it, I guess once you look at where these cities are, they are more affordable than, of course, your San Francisco's sure. and New York's, uh -huh. but they're more affordable than, you know, say your Boston's or your mm -hmm. DC's or your Atlanta's, maybe the ones that are sort of in that next tier down. Mm -hmm. um, so it wouldn't surprise me that that's where, if the home buying that is happening in that age group is happening. It's mm -hmm. funny too, because you just mentioned two cities with that were on the top of the list, yeah. San Francisco yeah. and New York City. Yeah. Which, it's not a surprise. Oh, the to California you know. cities. The California Any city cities. in California. I think they had California cities were what in the top six of the top ten. Six of the top ten. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. it's it's tough to buy a home. We know that, Very. and it's and especially with you know interest rates yeah. going the way they are right now. I think it's still above six percent right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's still tough. But we know that this generation, Gen Z. Eventually, they're going to be have the majority of the pie. So right now, it's a very small group, mm -hmm. but you know, almost like millennials. You know, millennials they now are they're taking up most mm -hmm. of the area. But mm -hmm. eventually, you know, they'll as they get more money, they'll start to buy more homes. Yeah, yeah. and then they'll down downsize and probably rent. Yeah, that's kind of how that works, a bad right? Idea. Right. As long as it has a pool. Yeah. Let's pool. As, as long as it has a pool. complex has a pool. Now, hold on, hold on. Here or somewhere else? Because well, here, you can only well, use the pool. Well, yeah, the, the summer here is great. Right, that's what yeah. I'm saying. But, you know, once you get to, what, probably October? No, that's no, i got to get to retirement age first. Yeah. I mean, I've got a long way to go. I'm definitely being a snowbird in retirement. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you gotta, yeah, you gotta go. You, you think gotta I'm go. gonna retire and stay here in the winter? I love spring, <laughs> summer, and fall. But, oh my Heather's goodness. Like I love up. this place. He I, can, I can see Heather at like 70. January, February. 70 years old Oof. in her chair, yeah. rocking chair, just going back yeah. with her blanket on. Oh, <laughs> Looking out the know, window, she's like, well, I love this summer. It'll be that it. same blanket, yeah. too. That same blanket, you know oh. it. The one that's in her desk yep, right now. Exactly. The one that I wear when I'm not here. Dang, I wish I had something I could just pull over my head again. Walk with my teacup.